Hello there, this is Brian, and here is Maverick, and welcome to another one of our Outdoor Adventures. In today's Outdoor Adventures, we'll be hiking a section of the Delaware River Canal Path located in southeast Pennsylvania, starting from New Hope, Pennsylvania to Center Bridge, and then returning southbound from Stockton to Lambertville on the New Jersey side. So without any further ado, let's get hiking. We started off from a small park adjacent to the Delaware Canal State Park, about a thousand feet north of the Route 202 Pennsylvania-New Jersey Bridge. Our first exciting view of some local water-based wildlife. This is a great blue heron, which is the largest of the heron in North America. It's relatively rare to see these in the area, so this is quite a treat. Coming up next are a pail of mallard ducks. We have a number of different types of ducks in PA, and while these are relatively common, these little guys always bring a smile when seen. While this canal is no longer used as a means of transportation today, it still brings many visitors who enjoy walking the towpath used by mules, donkeys, and horses in the past down this scenic passageway. The 60 mile route brings up a variety of water-based life, as well as picturesque buildings maintained from yesteryear, like this one that's gonna come up on the left. This is actually one of my favorite houses that we've seen on here. This area is very artistic, and you often see some pretty cool examples of creativity all up and down, such as this guy right here. Hope he wasn't too scared at that. <laughs> at this point, we were just south of Center Bridge, so I stopped to give Maverick some water and also some husky zoomy time. Oh, zoomies. You know, it's hilarious watching huskies. What they do, what they love to do is run, and given the opportunity, they run like wild dogs. And in the background here, you can also see another very picturesque house. Um, definitely, I mean, just walking up and down here, seeing the views of the wildlife and these beautiful old and new houses really just inspires you. And it looks like somebody's batteries are wearing down, so it's time to recharge for a few minutes. And then we're back off. Centerbridge, Pennsylvania and Stockton, New Jersey are connected by a small two-lane metal mesh bridge that provides some really great views of the Delaware. For you history buffs, this is about 11 to 12 miles north of where George Washington crossed the Delaware in the Revolutionary War. Now this river is usually a little bit more clear than what it is now, but we had just had several days of some heavy rain. Uh, which really filled up this river more so than usual, as well as bringing in sediment to it as well. This canal has an interesting history as well. At the dawn of the Industrial Revolution in America, before the rail system grew to its height in the 20th century, canals formed a large part of the transportation system that allowed the passage of goods and raw materials between ports and manufacturing centers. This was the case here where raw materials traveled from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, in the form of coal and iron for steel production, to the manufacturing port of Philadelphia, with other goods traveling along here as well. But within a hundred years of this being built, this was mostly replaced in use by the growing rail system within Pennsylvania. And as a result, these relatively small towns never really grew very big as compared to their counterparts along the rail system uh, that would follow a century later.
And coming up here is another example of creativity with a little known village just outside of Stockton, New Jersey. About midway through the Lambertville, New Jersey, we came across this old 1950s refrigerator, now converted to a mini outdoor public library of sorts. Yet another example of some pretty cool local creativity. Speaking earlier of railways, just up ahead is an older milling facility. While the facility is still in use today as an asphalt milling facility, the connecting railway is no longer in use and has fallen into disarray as many of our railways have with the introduction of the automotive transportation system. But the tracks still remain and then follow this route to our left for a good, oh, I would say probably two miles. Water level is maintained by a series of interconnected locks and spillways. While many of the locks are no longer in use, most of the spillways have been mostly maintained, which we'll see coming up here later on. Careful on the edge there, Mavis. Okay. At this point, we are just entering the outskirts of Lambertville. And up ahead is the Lambertville Lock Bridge with lots of little bike locks and other unique locks attached to it. There is so much artistry that happens in Lambertville and New Hope and really along the canal, but it really has a big focus in this area with lots of local artists. Uh, not only creating works of art here, but also uh, showcasing their art in local studios. If you ever get a chance, I definitely recommend uh, visiting here. It's a great day trip on a wonderful sunny day. There's also beautiful places to eat and just amazing views all around. There is a look over there at New Hope. Another great activity area is a local Bucks County Playhouse. And we often stop here if we take a hike at this Starbucks. Well, he's a husky. Husky? You're cute. Mm. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Strawberry caramel crunch frappuccino. Thank you so much. Thank you. Please enjoy. Thank you. Okay. Oh, I know you like this. I know. I know.
As I mentioned, there's so many activities you can do within these two towns, uh, ranging from, of course, the studios, which I mentioned, but also, you know, simply sitting down, watching people pass by is great for passing the time. There's actually a local old-fashioned train uh, that runs between here and another local town. Um, you could just, you could actually spend a whole week in this area, and people do. So at this point, we are leaving New Hope and heading back to our starting spot uh, just north of the two, Route 202. Up ahead here, just at the outskirts of New Hope, is one of my favorite little houses. Uh, it's just something warm and comforting about this old-fashioned looking house, and it's so artistic. Now, as I've mentioned, we've hiked uh, this many times. In fact, we've actually hiked almost the entirety of the Delaware Canal path. Um, some shorter journeys like this, other ones longer, ranging over 20 miles. Uh, so it's, again, a def definite recommended for in the area. Uh, you can do a loop for just seven miles or even just little bits up and down. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, smashing that like button on the bottom there would really help me out. And you could also subscribe. I'll be releasing future content as well down the road. Good boy. All right, sit down. So Maverick and I, again, would like to thank you for watching our video and have a great day and happy hiking.